Welcome to Storytime. I'm Monique Jawa, and I work for the Center for Literacy and Learning. I'll be reading Brilliant Bia, brought to you by Shana Rudolph and Mary Balkadonovich. It's illustrated by Fiona Lee. This month is Dyslexia Awareness, and this special story time is going to be a great read for your young readers at home. These are really nice pictures. They say your imagination can take you anywhere. I remember when mine didn't let me leave the classroom. While the rest of the kids in room 11 were lined up for recess, I was stuck finishing my homework again. I was stucker than stuck, stuck in Stucksville. Population one. Mom always said, I have a way with words. Dad always said, I am a real word slinger. My little brother, Charlie, always said, I'm the greatest storyteller on earth. The thing is, though reading and writing are extra hard for me, mom and dad told me that's called dyslexia. It's like the words jump around the page and my eyes try to laser beam to catch them. Every day at school, I was the last one done with the homework. The daydreamer staring out the window and the one Miss Boom had to use up all her patience on. I would usually try to tear her a real doozy of a story to get her off the topic. It did make me very popular with the other kids at all. Whenever I had to read out loud in class, I just wanted to melt in the chair like a popsicle on a hot day. It was like hidden ham surprise day in the cafeteria. I could sometimes fool Miss Bloom that I needed to see Nurse Leo. If I did have to read, it sounded like I was reading in slow motion and fast forward at the same time. Writing wasn't much better. It was like my pencil wouldn't write, but my brain is thinking. Patrice, what's the hiccup? Can I read what you have so far, Miss Moon with X? I nodded. She looked at the words I had on the page. I won't let Dullian bring me down. What is Dullian, Miss Boom X? Bullying, not dullying, I pronounced. In her most kind way, Miss Boom said, I think you figured it out with your brilliant brain, Patrice. Bullying is dull. Do you know what brilliant means, Miss Bloom asked? It means super smart, I answered in a super smart way. It means bright and radiant, Patrice. That's the opposite of dull. I am brilliant. The next day, Miss Bloom kept me after school. My heart hopped scotch and ways to her desk. She opened her drawer and pulled out some sort of ancient device. This was for you to tell your stories to. It's a tape recorder. Push this button here and away you go. Um, thanks, Miss Bloom. I will take good care of it. Sitting along at recess was not a new activity for me, but this time I pushed the red button, cleared the frogs from my throat and let the words flow. It's like begun one ordinary day. And in the end, the three misfits knew they had experienced something extraordinary. Why are you talking to yourself? What is the weird thing around your neck, Patrice X. Rudy? Normally I would shrivel up and just wish he'd go away. Not today. Um, it records all my stories, I answered snappily. So, the small but mighty girl with the scarlet cape and golden griffin went into the cave of enchantment where they found the nightingale whose magic could restore her voice. I love to draw. Maybe I can make some pictures for you in your stories. I like that, I smiled back. I can call me Bia. That's what my friends call me. 
That afternoon, Rudy helped me feel unstuck. After a little time, recess meant that me and my new friends gathered by the oak tree and sailed off to faraway adventures. Then the wizard pointed his staff at the girl, but the nightingale spread its wings over the girl to the little light shine down on her. The whole cave glowed as the girl's voice came back to her. It rose until its beautiful shrunk the wizard to the size of goosebumps. Oh, or just a game of four squares. Learning differently wasn't something to be afraid of anymore. My best friend and I created a comic book that the class loved so much, Miss Bloom made copies for everyone to take home. And someday you will become who you were meant to be. I hope you guys enjoy Brilliant Via, brought to you by the Center for Literacy and Learning and Storytime. Thank you.